so we finally made it to our destination here, Southern California. We were here last year also on the ranch. We've got some projects going on under here with some wiring. It's always a wiring issue on this thing, but let me show the main issue. The air conditioner stopped working and it was a blown fuse for the AC clutch. So we've got the AC clutch off, looking for just a clutch. No listing on that compressor from O'Reilly's on just a clutch. So I ended up having to buy a whole compressor, which I wasn't very happy with, just to take the clutch off it and stick it on our, our compressor. And with the giant windshield of the RV, we definitely need to have air conditioning, especially for the dogs. We're actually visiting a friend here in Southern California. Lisa's helping her with some, some stuff to get done. So what are you working on, Lisa? Oh, we're just, we're sorting through things. <laughs> Good luck. There's all the gourds, huh? No, that's just some of them. While she's doing that, I'm going to do some needed upgrades and repairs on uh, RV. Some of the stuff on the RV was maintenance related that we needed to do kind of before we left. Ran out of time with work, so this gives me about four or five days here to get it done. So that's what we're going to do. While we are here at the ranch, decided to take a look at the problem we we're having not so much uh, last year, only on really steep inclines for a long period of time. The temperature started getting up there. Uh, we were getting an overheat alarm, and then most of the time it wouldn't be doing it. And then this time coming out here, we were just coming up off the desert floor with just probably a 1% to 2% grade continuously for like 20 miles. And I kept getting uh, the warning coming on. So we decided to pull this apart. So take a look at this. Okay, we had to remove the whole quarter of the bus and we removed the transmission cooler there's a inner cooler that goes there that came off four bolts but look at the radiator I mean it is just impacted anything that you see here that's got the white on it those tubes are actually plugged up I'm calculating probably a quarter to one-third of the radiator is actually plugged up so we're gonna get that cleaned out and that should eliminate our running hot going up incline problem Okay, now I got most of that vacuumed out as much as it's gonna come out. We'll wash the rest out with a hose. This is kind of a bad design. All everything packs up in there, but it's still got grass and stuff in there. There's another way that you can tell if the radiator's plugged up. Watch this. We're gonna get from the inside and blow, blow all the stuff out, but watch this. See how that's kind of going inside? Now listen to the sound that changes. You see everything puddling up and coming out? That's because those tubes there are plugged, whereas that's not plugged. And that's plugged, and that's not. That's plugged, and that's not in that area. That's not plugged. That's plugged. So that's kind of how you can tell how plugged up it is with the hose. You can see the water doesn't go through it. It comes and fills up the cavity and then comes back out at you. So this radiator is actually more plugged up than I thought looks like a, almost half of it so that should probably eliminate any running hot going uphill issue that we're having well I can tell you this turned out to be an all-day job it took a few times but we got the radiator just about cleaned out I could put a flashlight behind it and you can see right through it now it does have like these little tiny rocks in between there still that I can't get out we tried flushing it both directions use a little air compressor still couldn't get it all of it out but this is a you know 100% better than what it was so we got a bunch of broken screws off that were rusted up in into the framework and we ended up having to cut the rail right there what they did is they took that piece behind here which is the end cap of the camper so in order to get that out to access the radiator um, to clean it you have to basically take the end cap of the camper off which is ridiculous so I'm gonna say that this radiator has never been cleaned since 1995 we're having a pretty good time here in Southern California. Extremely dry. My lips are all chapped and busting open. Fingers cracking, same thing. Lisa and the girls are out walking. 140 acres-ish. They got a lot of property. We can run the dogs off leash. <laughs> this is pretty good. The girls are real happy with running around not being on a leash. But let me show you around. This is the main house where Rosalie lives. 
I don't know if you just heard that big boom, that's Camp Pendleton. Boys are blowing up some stuff. They got a retention pond there for irrigation. Some barren fields out there. They used to be filled with gourds if you saw the video from last year. And then now we're gonna check out some gourds in the fields here. And there goes Anna, banana, chasing her ball. And you saw that they were filled with gourds, rotating crops. We're all set up here boondocking in their driveway. It's pretty good. We have Dirty Ant, we have water, and we have Wi-Fi Ranger borrowing their Wi-Fi. So we appreciate that, Rosalie. Thank you. And we're here to kind of help the owner of the property move. Sad, but she's moving on. So, sold the ranch, so this is our last time here. It's kind of sad. Been here several times. We got the RV back together the whole radiator thing's all been flushed so we should be good with that no more overheating we have some cooking to do tonight lisa's got me some chicken and i think some tofu not sure what that's about been practicing with the drone out here with all the acreage to fly over it's been really good learning all the different controls of the drone so very pleased with that so check out some of these drone shots